If you're looking to get more clients in quarter four so that your quarter one looks better than this year's, um, you might want to offer a freebie for buyers or sellers. Hi, my name is Katie and I am the owner of CRM Ferry, where I help real estate agents with their lead generation, lead organization, and lead nurture. So in order to build an email list that has new leads pouring in all the time, a freebie is a great way to do this because um, a lot of people might not know you, you may not come up in Google search, but if you are advertising something that is useful, then uh, that could help grow your list. So this is the list of useful things as or a buyer or a seller would want. So number one, you could do a checklist like uh, either your marketing plan, you could do a how to prepare your home before you stage it, how to prepare your home uh, before you sell it in general. Um, any sort of checklist is a good incentive for people to sign up and get it so they feel more prepared as a buyer or seller. You could also do an ebook. Uh, this could be from anywhere between five pages to 20 pages, and it could be like your um, seller presentation if you want, just a digital form. You could do this. What I'm doing right now, I'm on Loom uh, recording myself, um, recording a Canva page on my computer. So you can create your seller journey or seller assessment, whatever you have, via Canva. And then with Loom, you could just record yourself doing it and then send that out to people who join your email list. You can also do this with a buyer consultation, but that's a little bit harder because with a buyer consultation, you really want to like ask them questions in the moment um, to figure out what you need to show them. You could do a catalog or a guide based on your target geographical location. You could do a market report. These are good for buyers and sellers because everybody wants to know what's going on in the area that they're either leaving or moving to. You could do a resource list. So that can be like house cleaners, movers, um, even like mortgage folk, all that stuff. And then uh, again, a free consultation is something that you can advertise to give away um, to have people join your list. And then if you know nothing about um, Facebook ads, then you might have seen if you created an ad, you have a campaign, you have an ad set, and then you have ads. So the campaign is the bucket that the ads live in. And this is if you want to like a B test things, then you have your ad sets and your ads going on. So this is just the, um, the name of what you're advertising. While this on the other hand is your ad sets. So these are the different types of audiences that you create that may be interested in your ad that we will see next. <laughs> so I advertise to real estate agents, obviously. Um, so I have a cold audience just based on real estate, like liking real estate, being into real estate. Then I have one for Tom Ferry and then I have one for Gary V. Um, and then here we can look at the actual ads that are going out. So based on the ad sets, I can do different types of ads if I want to, but this I was being lazy and they all get the same ad. But I want to see which audience does the best. So that's why I set up different ad sets within my campaign. So the ad is what's going out, the ad set is who it's going to, and the campaign is the bucket that holds it all. So hopefully that makes sense as a little breakdown of Facebook ads for when you are advertising all of this stuff right here. All right, hope that's helpful. Um, if you have any questions if uh, about Facebook ads, I do have a more in-depth course uh, all about Facebook ads and freebies. Um, so if you would like that, just leave a comment below and I'll send you the link.